welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host, Jennifer. <sighs> so I did a thing. <laughs> it wasn't my fault, though. And I'm not going to take credit because it's not my fault. <laughs> uh, we were out grocery shopping, Mr. Cinnamon and I. And several times over the past week or so, I have seen people go to their local Dollar Tree's and find a new yarn from Premier. And I, of course, had yarn envy, which is known to happen in this community. <laughs> so uh, I kept mentioning it to Mr. Cinnamon because he obviously, he wouldn't know the difference. I mean, he would, don't get me wrong. He knows the difference between yarns and he knows because he's mostly with me when we go shopping to anywhere. We, we do like everything the other. So he would know like if I have purchased this yarn before because I show him everything I buy or he's with me or whatever. And so he suggested to me the day before that we go to Dollar Tree and I was not in the mood. I was not in the mood for much of anything. So <laughs> while we were out grocery shopping, he drove past the grocery store. I was like, where are you going? He's all, we're going to go. I just want, I need to run into the Dollar Tree real quick. So I was like, okay, you know, he, he, oh, he, he goes to the Dollar Tree for a lot of stuff. He has like, um, <laughs> he, he likes to buy batteries and light bulbs. Like he likes to have a stock of batteries and light bulbs because we're constantly going through batteries. And the issue is he's buying the cheap dollar store batteries. So they go really quickly instead of like, you know, buying Duracell. So... <laughs> He goes to the Dollar Tree a lot, or we got to stop for Lake School Supplies because, you know, Little Man, they're always coming up. It's actually Little Man and our daughter. They both, the schools just keep coming up with new and exciting ways for them to learn at school and say, hey, you need to go buy more supplies. You need to go buy more supplies. I never had to buy this many supplies when they were at physical school. So it's just insane to me. Anyway, well, we're not talking about that. Anyway, so no big deal that we're going to the Dollar Tree. He runs into the Dollar Tree real quick. Now, I will tell you, it is pouring rain at this point. The weather is really gloomy. Even today, it is completely gray, overcast, moist outside. It is not beautiful at all. And the other, the weather yesterday was even worse. It was just like, just, oh, that real wet, sobby, soggy, like just pouring rain weather. Like typical winter weather for this area. And... He goes into the Dollar Tree and he video chats me on my phone because I was still in the car because I didn't really want to go into the Dollar Tree. And I did mention like, I kind of want to see if they have this new yarn at my Dollar Tree. But the last time we went, there was no yarn like at all. They had maybe five skeins and it was not Premier Yarn at all. It was like that new, that new brand that they have. And so I was like, eh, I'm not really interested in that. Like, I don't want to go in there and get my hopes up that they had this new beautiful yarn that I keep seeing. And then they not have it. And I'll be bummed and I'll come out disappointed. So he video chats me and he shows me they restocked like all of the yarn at my Dollar Tree. All of it. So there is, and I've said this before, the Dollar Tree, my Dollar Tree anyway, they don't put the yarn in the craft section. <laughs> they put the yarn in the farthest back corner where the cleaning supplies are. So it goes cards and wrapping paper. And then that last, the very last aisle is like cleaning supplies in the corner. So like bleach and like dishwasher pods, all that is back in the corner. And on the very end cap is where they keep the yarn. Well, last time there was none down there. They had other stuff stocked on the shelves. That whole end cap was restocked and around the corner had yarn. And it was like all kinds of yarn. So, I walked out with a box. <laughs> Mr. Cinnamon said, my treat, get whatever you want. So, I promptly grabbed all of the new flower yarn, all of it. Now, someone else had beat me to it because there are quite a few skeins missing. There's supposed to be five of each color and there's quite a few missing. So... I put some other yarn in there to make the box a little more full. So we're gonna we're gonna save the flower yarn for last, and I'm gonna show you 
what else they had that was new and what else I was excited to get. Now, this is the other yarn that I was talking about, the Crafter Secret Acrylic Yarn. And I've never purchased any of this. I wasn't really interested in it in the last time because it is, it's not Premier. And like, I have enough of random yarn, so I didn't really need any. However, I don't have any black in my stash and I have very little white. And the white that I have and the black that I have is glittery. And that is really going to be used for something like special or unique. But there's so many times where you just need a black or a white yarn. Like I was saying. <laughs> oh, Okay, so. There's a lot of times where you need black or white yarn. For a lot of times like eyeballs on a amigurumi or like trim on something. And I never have just black or white yarn so I wanted to try this out and if I like it I will buy some more of this so that I have black and white in my stash I do have some premier everyday anti-pilling acrylic in like off-white but off-white it's not the same as white for some reason white it seems to always be out of stock on premier's website so anyway I got black and white in this and this is uh very little information on this it says it's 100% acrylic. I am guessing that it is a worsted weight number four, but I don't see that information on here anywhere. It says it's three and a half ounces, 100 grams, 220 yards. Use five, five millimeter knitting needles or six millimeter crochet hook. That would make it a worsted weight, but it does not say worsted weight on here. This yarn is not rough, but it's not soft either. It feels kind of stiff. It feels a little bit stiff, but it's not like gross or like itchy or picky or any of that. So it's not bad. So I got black and white, but I also got one in this blue color because I thought it was pretty. And the blue is actually softer than both of those. Go figure. But yeah. This reminds me a little bit of Super Saver. You know how Super Saver, like some colors will be really like stiff and even like on the verge of scratchy. Like purple, especially like dark purple. I have a dark purple back there, super saver, and it is so scratchy. And that's kind of what this reminds me of. Like the blue is soft and the black is a little more stiff. So that's what that reminds me of. Like a little, that's a really good deal though for a dollar and it's 220 yards. Definitely a good deal. And then I saw these and I only grabbed two of these because I don't use a lot of chunky weight yarn. But I was super excited that they had this <laughs> in stock. And they had different, lots of different colors. Well, not lots. They had like four or five different colors of the chunky. But I thought this blue was really, really pretty. It's actually darker than it's showing up. It's like a blue jean color. And this is 82 yards of a bulky number five, 100% acrylic machine wash gentle. And this just says it's the color blue. Yeah, so. Interruptions. <laughs> okay, so this stuff is super soft too. This feels to me like just the more expensive chunky yarn from Premier. But I am really happy to see more variety of yarns in the Dollar Tree because not only do they have the worsted weight, which I also picked up one of the worsted weight, then they have the chunky on top of it and now the new flower yarn, that totally makes me happy. So I got two because I just wanted to try this out and I figure since this is 82 yards, the two of these will make like a hat or a cowl or something like that small, or I can add it into another project that I'm working on. That's actually chunky that I don't have a whole lot of chunky yarn. I really like the feel of that though. It reminds me I'm trying to think of what yarn it reminds me of. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that reminds me. It reminds me of something. Anyway, so I got two of those and then I'm going to just show you the box. You see the box has a lot of like pink colors and these are all the flower yarns with the exception of these two, but these two match with some of the colors so well. I grabbed them. Not that I needed any more worsted yarn, but this is just the just yarn worsted and it's a worsted medium number four. This is 131 yards for a dollar. In this beautiful rosy color it says light mauve it's very much like a, a dusty rose or a pinky like you know 
I think it's really pretty. So we got two of those just to match some of these. And I'm just going to show you one of each of these colorways because I'm not going to show you all five. Well, I got five of these. <laughs> this is the new Just Yarn Flowers yarn. And it's got little tufts on it of like, I don't know, like little tiny pom-poms. The yarn that is on here feels like the yarn that is on the Aspen. It feels like <laughs> they took little puffs of this fur and put it on there. Do you see? It is very, very similar. So, if you have felt the Aspen that I reviewed in Premier Week last week, you will know that these little flowers are super, super soft. And when you crochet this up, I have not knit this up and I've only seen it crocheted up. You get like these little like flower effects randomly throughout your work. This is the color Cosmos. And it is exactly true to color that you're seeing it is like a very salmony peachy type colorway. And there's like ribbon of pinks and gray running through. I know the gray looks a little bit purple, but it's really gray. It's really gray. See the different shades of the pink in there. It's so pretty. I just think this yarn is so cool and unique. And Premier used to actually have, let me grab it real quick. They used to have this yarn, which was called Premier Flowers. And you see it has the blooms, the little flowers. The flowers on here, though, are like little puffs of like just acrylic yarn pieces. Whereas this is more of like a fur. See the difference? A little furry puff. And this is like an acrylic piece of yarn sewed on. And this does the same type of effect. It has much more flower. I mean, that hat is hideous, let's face it. This works up really cute in like a little lap can or like a nice cowl, that, but I would not make another hat out of this. I have made a hat and a cowl set out of this yarn. <laughs> I have never wore it because it's a little too funky for me. <laughs> but it was the black yarn with just blue flowers on it. It's a very unique yarn. Very cool. So when I saw this, I was really excited because I have, I have quite a bit of this. I was gifted some. It's on that top shelf right here. I have it in three different colors. I was gifted some because I showed it on the In the Closet series. And then I was gifted some. I found this yarn. Uh, I think initially the one that I made the project out. I either found it at the Dollar Tree. Clearance that, you know, it like this size at the Dollar Tree. Or I found it at um, Goodwill. I do not remember which where I found it first. And this obviously is a much smaller, much smaller because now Premier is, instead of Premier selling leftovers or discontinued yarns like the case was with that, they are actually making yarn specifically for the Dollar Tree, which I think is like way cooler. So anyway, I got five in this colorway and a lot of these colorways, unless they are side by side, they look a lot alike. So I will show you those and then I'll show you them together so you can see the difference. And then this one, Whereas this one is mostly that peach color with gray running through it. This one is mostly gray with the pink running through it. And this one is the colorway Dusty Rose. <laughs> Which is why I thought this one went with it. Because I figured this one looks like Dusty Rose even though they're calling it Light Mauve. See, very, very, they go together. They just do. And I could just see like striping these two together. I might have to go back and get some more of this color because it's so pretty. And speaking of this color... Premiere every couple of months releases all new colorways for the Just Yarn. So if you find like the very first time I found it, it was very dark color. So it was like deep purple, deep red, deep orange, black, etc. And then I went back again a couple months later 
and then they had like the spring colors out so they had like pastels which i have like all the pastels and then again like this winter they released some more dark colors and now they're coming out with like this style colors so they have dusty rose and like a sage green which is so pretty and like a lighter gray and like all oh, the colors are just so pretty this time around the only bad thing is is because they're just releasing the colors by season if you go back in a couple weeks you're not guaranteed to get more if you need more and that's like a little bit of a problem but at this point like i don't really i don't know i got a bunch that i'm not using so <laughs> Anyway, I keep buying the dollar store yarn and I don't use it. So I'm just, we're not talking about that. So anyway, so this is the Dusty Rose. Same as, it's mostly gray with the pink instead of this one, mostly pink with the gray. And again, the little, the little flower puffs on there. And then the next color I got, these are so pretty. This is Bouquet and this is pinks and blues and yellows. So there's like... A nice variety of color and this is showing up a little more blue because the lighting in here is blue because it's cloudy outside and that's just that's just the way light works so I think this is so so pretty I wish that was a little bit better colored there we go that's not bad isn't that cute so that's bouquet and as you can see it is definitely different than that one but close enough that they could go together. I got three of those. I got two of the gray. I got five of this colorway, which again is a different color. This is called peach, but it's close enough. See, this is just slightly more. The pink is peach, whereas the pink is pink here. Very similar in color. Oh, I didn't notice the flowers are all different colors. So I got five of those and then I got five of the blue and the blue is called gem. Isn't that pretty? Like some oranges and blues mixed in there. But these are all 111 yards, 52% acrylic, 48% polyester. I think the polyester is the ribbon running through it and the puffs. This is a number four medium worsted acrylic well acrylic poly blend is machine wash cold lay flat to dry and that's my dollar store haul i was super excited this week has been weird guys first i go and i go shopping at my first ever local yarn shop my lys then i go to the dollar tree and buy even more yarn i'm just all over the place but I'm excited. I'm going to definitely give these yarns some reviews when I use them. I'm going to try to work up some, some samples soon. I really want to make like a little lapgan out of this flower blankets. Because I think that would just be so pretty. And like 111 yards. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. That's a lot of yardage. That's... <laughs> We definitely can get a lap again out of that, especially if we put some of this mixed in with it, which I think will be super pretty, but, and I know I'm going to get some nasty comments in this video. I already know you shouldn't have bought it all. Yes, I should have. They had a lot of yarn left over. However, I did buy all of the flower yarns because I wanted to make a blanket with it. That was the whole idea. And no, I didn't leave any left. And I actually, <laughs> I felt bad. I'm trying to grab pencils that are all at the back of my desk. I felt bad because there was another lady that came in right after I did. Because Mr. Cinnamon video chatted me to show me the yarn. And then he's like, you need to come in here. You need to pick out your yarn. And so then I had to go walk in the rain and go in the store. So by the time I got to the back of the store, there was another woman that was standing there. And she was like wanting to look at the yarn. But since we were standing and it was at the end cap, so it was a narrow area. She went up and down the aisle looking. And then I grabbed like the yarn because I wanted it. And then she came back around and was peeking. I mean, there was still lots of, there was a ton of the new colorways of the Just Yarn. And there was a lot of the Chunky and there was a lot of the other acrylic. So she had lots to choose from, but I did take all of the rest of the, the flowers. I'm hoping they restock. I, and then also on the way home um, from the grocery store, there's another Dollar Tree on the way home from the Dollar Store or from the grocery store. And so Mr. Cinnamon pulled in there and he just wanted to see if they had any yarn there 
and they did have yarn and they did restock that and that store never has yarn they had yarn but they didn't have the just flowers so or the just yarn flowers so be on the lookout i have seen a lot of people who never have yarn are now having yarn show up in their Dollar Tree. I think they're trying to make uh, yarn more readily available at more Dollar Tree locations. I could be wrong, but it does seem like a lot more people are able to find yarn at their Dollar Tree that was not able to find yarn at their Dollar Tree before. But the flowers yarn seems to be getting snapped up really fast because of, you know, people like me. <laughs> well, please don't yell at me in the comments. If you can't find any at your store, it's not my fault that, like, I took all the ones at my store. Because your store's not the same as my store. And, you know, it's a limited time thing. So, you gotta grab it when you see it. And I think that's what makes the, <laughs> that's what makes it so, like, oh, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. Because it is hard to find. Because it is, it does go really quickly. So, like, it makes it a more valuable commodity that people want to have this yarn. I'm super excited that I found that though and uh yeah I'm happy that's definitely gonna be a little lap blanket or something <sighs> all right guys I'm going to let you go I've spoke for 20 minutes on dollar store yarn <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that the content this week and last week is a whole lot of new yarns so I'm kind of excited about that I hope you guys are enjoying the yarn um yeah I think the next video is probably going to be projects maybe finish maybe I don't know I don't know I'm trying to make stuff but it's going slow <laughs> it's cool I'm tired after premiere week I'm really tired after premiere week um and that took a lot out of me so I'm kind of taking it slow I'm not even knitting anything right now because like the knitting is just I don't have the energy to knit I got a lot of other stuff I'm trying to do right now so yeah, I'm tired. I'm, I'm crocheting slow, but it's, it's all good. All right, guys, I will let you go and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.